This week we're in Northampton, trying to knock some sense into our carefree buyers, Ian and Andrew. They admit to being financially short-sighted and need to be convinced that buying a house is a serious business. We've already taken them to see a period property with great potential to add value, but the prospect of hard graft nearly had them scampering back to their rental pad. I wouldn't be prepared to leave Birmingham and move into something like this. And this modern house, identical to the one they rent. It's our house, but in a different town. It's just been transported, I think. Yeah. Although they love this contemporary muse, they have said they'd like to see properties closer to the town centre. And, wait for it, not just modern ones. This is great news, because there's simply no way these two could afford a modern build in town. I'm aiming to find them somewhere a bit older that they might be able to add value to. Our next appointment could be more their thing, especially the great location. We're in Abington, right in the town centre, and with loads of bars and restaurants, it should keep the boys happy. I really like the buzz of this place because there is a lot of pubs and a lot of socialising that can be done down in this sort of area. So. That is brilliant. It's another Victorian two up and two down, but very different from the one they've already rejected, and it's really worth showing them. We know the area is well established, so the house should hold its value. It's just walking distance to town, plus there's less work to do on it. Downstairs, it has a comfortable sitting room and a big kitchen. Upstairs, there are two medium-sized bedrooms and a big bathroom. It's on the market at just under their 120,000 budget. And hopefully they'll recognise this house has potential. Now, the walls are apricot, I think that's a polite way of putting it. And the carpet is aged. But mm -hmm. you can see under the carpet is the floorboards. And behind this wood chip wallpaper, a good solid walls but this house needs a lot less work it's got a bigger better garden and it's in an area which is really holding its value that you're familiar with which is very buzzy mm. and has all the cafes and restaurants and everything yeah i really like it first impression oh great. I, I like good it potential compared to definitely the other property this i think is more to what my expectations would have been for a property in abington and we've still got the opportunity to obviously increree value by yeah, doing it do my ears deceive me adding value i think we're getting somewhere do you still have a preference for modern I think it's kind of gone down a little bit now, actually, because we could see that we could actually put that modern feel into this place I mean, yeah. and spend, you know, a certain time concentrating maybe on the kitchen and then work our way through the house and eventually lead up into the bathroom and bedrooms and stuff. So. Absolutely agree. At last, these two are listening and learning. Andrew can see that traditional terraces can have the benefits of modern properties. And you can make a bit of a profit on them too. Finally, we're cooking on gas. It's got potential. I was going to say, I can easily see the potential again for this one because it, it needs less work. Yep. Yeah. It's the work that horrifies you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I want to be relaxing. I don't want to be coming home and spending hours doing it. And it also the money as well. But this just seems so much nicer than the last one. Bingo. They're converted. They can see this house works equally as well as the new build. The house has got a nice feel to it. I can see its potential, where in the other one I just couldn't. Can we just say that this is a maybe? Definitely a maybe. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely a maybe. maybe. Definitely a maybe. <laughs> Another maybe is just not good enough. I think these guys have now got the vision to see real potential, and I think we can stretch their imaginations further. Our next appointment's in Far Cotton. It's not as buzzy as the last location and a bit further from town, but I reckon the additional space and potential here would more than make up for the extra walk to the bars. We're about to see a house which is by far the biggest thing that we've ever looked at. In your life? <laughs> no, not in I'm our joking. life. But within the budget. Within the budget. Although this is fractionally over budget. It's 122 and a half thousand. Oh, right. Okay. right yeah. so. But they're keen to move. They're going to New Zealand. This Victorian terrace house is great value. It has a huge living area, the biggest kitchen we've seen so far, and then upstairs has not two but three bedrooms plus a large attic space they could convert in the future. This means more space without having to move. The snag is the price, £122,500, two and a half grand over budget. The extra cash buys attic potential and another bedroom. They could even rent that third bedroom out. As first timers in a cautious market, this property could really work for them. And we've done some research and know that a house just around the corner sold recently for 135 grand. 
green sitting room. Mm. It makes a change to our green carpet. First impressions, I really like it. Yeah, I do. Really like it. Why? Yeah. Smart, movable. I mean, it, yeah. it probably contradicts everything we've said about the modern things because this has got a lot of period features. It's considerably bigger than other houses that we've come from, but it's a fraction more expensive. When I look at this property and compare it to what we've seen, I'm surprised how much more we would get for that little yeah. bit extra, that couple yeah. of grand extra. Mm. You're going to think we saved the best till last now, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Hold the front page. They've only seen the front room and already they think this is the best of the bunch. We've got three bedrooms, all of them are generous size, plus the attic. Yeah. There's huge potential up there. It's boarded, it's, there's power up there. You have a look that way. There's the bathroom, which is beautiful. In fact, why don't you guys explore? I yeah, really like nice it. Nice and clean. Yeah nice, yeah, nice finishes as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's well looked after, that's for sure. Yeah. Again, you've got that high ceiling, mm. which we haven't got, obviously, in modern. This is a nice size. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, don't, I think the full poster bed probably does overpower the bedroom a little yeah. bit. It's not well, that it's taste, is it? smaller than it is, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think about the house, then? Personally, I think it's probably the one. Yeah, I think it I probably really is I really do think yeah. it probably yeah. is. So, what do you think? I'm shocked, actually, I must admit. I am really, really shocked that this just for He's that little for bit catch. extra. And, you know, yeah, and I'm waiting for you to say so that cheap. it's about to fall down or something like no, that. No, 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 not as far as we know. We've had a good look over it. What about you, Ian? Yeah, this is the one, actually. By George, I think we've done it. Over the last four houses, we've managed to turn these boys from new-build obsessives into house hunters looking to make sound financial decisions. I'm so proud of them. But don't forget, this is a massive change of heart. Let's hope their newfound zeal for period properties doesn't evaporate overnight. Um, we've had a long, hard think about it last night and stuff, and I think we're still really keen to go back to the Far Carton property. Right, if they want this place, we've got some research to do. These two have never bought before, and we really need to make sure they know every last detail. My real area of interest was Far Cotton and the floods that happened there in 98. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out the council tax ban for Far Cotton. The research is looking good. But remember that at 122 and a half grand, it is nearly two and a half over their budget. So very useful to be coming back at a different time of day. Ian, what's in your mind about the area? Um, yeah, I like the area, definitely. Near to work, near to town. This road flooded in 1998. So there, there is a history of flooding. We've looked into the insurance issues and uh, there's, they, they've taken a number of precautions and the insurance here would be £32 a month. So basically, that's barely higher than what it would be normally. You did want to know what the council tax was. It's band A, £768. That's fantastic. That's one of the everything you're telling me so far is making it more and more positive yeah, and it's yeah. everything's and feeling great. Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. The boys seem happy with the finer points. Let's check out the bigger picture. I think one of the best aspects of this house is the potential to convert the attic space in the future. We've got reasonable head height here now, and they've boarded it out and insulated it, so they've done a fair amount of, of work. Not going to be too complicated to take it forward, but it would give you a fourth bedroom. So, this house is future-proof. If they need more room in a few years' time, they can get it without the need to move, and the rest of the space really stacks up. But remember, it is two and a half grand over their budget. I'm really happy. <laughs> We're all very happy bunnies. I'm over the moon. I really like this house and yeah. hopefully you two will get us a right price yeah. on it. Oh, we'd love to try. With a 100% mortgage, 120 grand is Andrew and Ian's absolute maximum outlay. So this is crunch time. We have to get the money off. It'll be down to playing up their position as first-time buyers with a mortgage in place. I've had an introductory chat with the agent and I reckon that the vendor's expecting about 120. But I also think that we should try and use this buyer's market to your advantage. And we might try and shave a little bit from that. See what he says. Yeah. Jonathan, good afternoon. It's Phil Spencer here. Hello. Um, we've now had our chat. Now, as far as the actual level of offer is concerned, they are minded to offer 119,000. Good luck, Jonathan. Thanks very much. Bye. If the vendor says no, that's that. 
There's no more money in the kitty to go any higher. All we can do is wait. That's Jonathan. Good luck, everyone. Hello. Jonathan, hi. Jonathan, can I um, put the phone down and discuss that with them now? And uh, I'll give you a ring straight back. OK. Thanks. Doesn't get easy, does it? Deal's yours. Oh. <laughs> 119. Yeah, really? That's a great house. It's a whole it house. A three-bed house. I haven't got a three-bed house. Thank you very much, yeah, you thanks. both, really. Well done. Really. Thank you. Fantastic news. The deal is done and these first-time buyers have found a property that really works for them and has real scope to extend and make money in the future. Not only that, but we've managed to convert them from new build aficionados to wily buyers with an eye for a profit. Next week, we're keeping it in the family as we try to find a perfect pad for not one, but four generations of the Trotman clan. A tough bunch to please. We didn't like it as much as the downstairs. Mm. It's over our budget. This is one area that we put as a no-no.